So it was this hedgehog. But seriously though, Sonic the Hedgehog was what Sega was striving for since their debut. Something to take that plumber, beat him senseless, and spit on his grave. Needless to say, it was fairly successful. In fact, successful enough to warrant the fate of half a decade. You all know what hideous part of video game history I'm talking about. It's the mascot craze. One such mediocre example of this craze is Alfred Chicken. Released in January of 1994 for the Super Nintendo Game Boy and Whoa! Whoa! Wait. What?! Released on January 1994 in the Super Nintendo Yeah, I got it right. They do realize making games for the NES by 1994 was completely obsolete even with people that had a budget? Right? I mean, I mean, they had to have. It's like making freaking Atari 2600 games in 1987. So naturally, this complete and total derp of a move would end up costing Sapporo Jewels a lot of money, as this game nowadays is pretty rare. Anyways, let's just get this game over with before I lose my sanity. Right from the get-go, it is astonishing as to how little this game impresses me. The music certainly isn't that good, and the fact that this game released so late within the NES's lifespan, I've kind of gotten used to some of those games that rival TurboGrafx-16 in graphical power. So why does this game look like it was published in 1987? On a Commodore 64. The game also really fails in Level Design 101. Seriously, extra credits! Have you heard of them? A good example of this is in level 3. In this run, I was down to 2 lives when I first saw this. Throughout my journey, I've been collecting these gems for that ever useless high score. So when I come up to this enemy, this happens. This is a very general rule of level design here. Don't make collectibles solid to the surrounding environment. Ever. On top of that, this gem is placed where the enemy catches you in the most awkward position possible, with practically no chance of survival. And when I finally get back up there, it turns out that all of what I learned was wrong. The enemy just explodes because. This was so maddening to me. With literally just one tweak, this part would have been fine. But no. Now with all that in mind, I still don't find this game all that bad. The core gameplay itself is fairly intuitive, the controls, once you get used to them, are definitely competent, and it's a decent length. Call me spoiled for playing truly awful games, but other than that, this game is, in general, just so mediocre. The stages are inconsistent with each other, the boss fights just boil down to button mashing, the lack of continues in conjunction with the trollish level design makes it way harder than it needs to be, the music is bland, the graphics are garbage in comparison to some of the games that came years before it, and lastly, it is just not fun. Sure, I've played worse, much worse in fact, but Alfred Chicken is not at all worth your time. Well, at least it's not FRIG!